all right guys in this video i am going to implement my Django app to the server so for that i can just follow this step according to this webgis deployment guide so just i have to first of all create the directory in uh, geo project and then i have to change the ownership and change the mode of this folder so yeah and after that i can go to the working folder and then colon the repo so i can just go to the apt geo project and then git colon and then i can just colon it uh, just copy this link and then paste it here paste it here and then colon the repo uh, you have to type your username and password so okay so after that if you type ls minus l it will list out the directory so current user is take and the group is also take so this uh, this uh, this repo is already downloaded to the our server so it's we i already explained our everything this django app is inside geo app so it's the main folder so maybe i can move this to the uh one step back so maybe just move or copy copy is fine i think copy minus r and then geo project and geo app geo apps uh, and then i can just copy it here so if you type ls minus l then the geo app is uh, inside the current working directory so yeah so after that what i can do is i have to activate my virtual environment on v and v and then it will activate my virtual environment and i have to install all the uh, requirement packages so for that uh, actually we have two kind of requirement so first one is the wheel package so maybe i can install this manually so first of all i will i would like to install this gdal so for gdal what you can do is first of all check your gdal version gdal cnfig and then dash dash version to check your gdal version for me is the 3.0.4 so i can install the pip install gdal and then i can pass the uh, 3.0.4 yeah so since i already installed so it will uh, install without problem and then after that you can install the geo uh, pandas uh, by default it will automatically install fina numpy pi uh, pi pi pros and simply so just install it and then if you try to install pip install pi card this will uh this will give you the error so uh, i i checked in the stack overflow and i found this this question helpful so here i followed this this step so i tried to install first uh, leave curl uh, for gnut ls dev and then leave rtmp dev packages and after that i can successfully install the pycurl so make sure you install this uh packages and then after that you have to install the pip install pycurl so just make sure you install so after installing this this pycurl so if i try it it will automatically run and then uh, after uh, running these things you have to install your requirements.txt file so cd is inside geo app and then if i type ls then uh, no it's i think it's inside the uh, okay let me check ls and then it's i think it's inside geo django and uh, if i type ls it's inside here so maybe i can type pip install minus r uh, requirement dot txt 
requirements.txt and it will automatically install everything uh, required everything listed here so it will So it will install all these packages. So it's installing here. Okay, now our packages is successfully installed. Uh, so after that we can follow in the step. So we have to install Gunicon. So just install it. And then since we already installed this Jiral, so no need to install again. So after that, we have to edit our setting.py file. So I can go back and then if I type ls, and then I have to, I am uh, familiar with pi editor. So I'll type pi and then geo app and then inside which our also project name is geo app and then settings.py so here you have to type your allowed host so for me it's uh, it will be the sorry it will be the local host and then i'll provide my ip so if i go back and then ip a and then it will give my ip address so for you you can provide your dns uh, you your IP address to the allowed host but for me it's uh, you can just type I to insert the commands and I will type local host and then my IP just copy it on paste here so these are the allowed host and then also you can debug mode to false so if any error happen then it will don't provide it don't crash your Django app but for now I'll keep it true and then after that uh, you have to change your database setting so for me the database name is GeoApp since we already created and user is Postgres it's okay and then uh, password is I think admin and then it's localhost and 5432 other are fine so okay just uh, sorry mm, okay just uh, type esc and then colon wq to write and quit and if i type uh, i am currently in the this folder so i have to go to the gof directory and then if I type here, you can see the manage.py file. So if I type python manage.py run server 0000, 000 and then 8000 port, it should run. But uh, let's see. Yeah, uh, it shows path password authentication fail for user Postgres. So maybe I type the wrong one. So I just have to change the password so for that uh, what i can do is sudo user maybe i can type the in the terminal and then i can just uh, go to the sudo su minus sudo minus u and postgres so sudo su postgres uh, it's admin and then it will start the your postgres uh, user so after that you can type psql and then you can type this slash p or something uh, i have to search it so let me okay here i found the uh, correct syntax so i have to type pass password and then the database name password postgres and i'll type admin admin and for geoapp geoapp uh, database as well i have to assign the admin admin so role geoapp does not exist 
Ah, uh, it's the username. So, so for me, Postgres, I think it's fine. So let's try again. Okay, now it is running. So maybe I can just try to localhost 8080, not 8080 actually, 8000. And then, oh, okay, uh, I have to migrate the database. That's why this error is occurring. So yeah, so just I have to, I think I missed here the some steps so just terminate it control c and then i just want to clear it and then i have to type python manage.py make migration error password authentication failed for postgres oh it's it's actually this error is coming from the uh, model.py file i think here uh, inside the GOA we have this SHP and then we have this model so here we set our Postgres password to the GICIT123 so we can uh, edit it as well so we can just VI and then go to SHP and then models.py and then I have to edit the password okay okay now the password is edited successfully after that i can just oh, sorry uh, migrate make migration and then migrate it migrate the database and i hope uh, now it should work but uh, before that i want to create super uh, user as well uh, python manage dot manage dot pi create super user and then i'll create the super user name it is admin and email is admin at the rate admin dot com just random email and then password is admin admin and why yes so for the deployment make sure your username and password are unique and then it's better to have the uh, complex password so yeah just now i can try whether our app is running or not so yeah python managed.py run server and now it should be running okay now it's running one thing what i missed is uh, i have to uh i have to collect the static file as well so maybe i can just go back and then python manage.py collect the static and then i can type yes and then it copied 132 files so okay let me go to the console here it shows 404 that means 19 file did not file um, find so maybe uh here i can check inside the static directory so yeah i i forgot to push the uh, my static file here so maybe i'll update my github repo and after that you can just simply type python manage.py collect static to collect your static files so let me give me some moment okay i found the error here so in git ignore file the dist and lib folder are not uploaded by default so i can just remove these two two lines and then I can just uh, now this file should be added. So maybe I can just git a dot and then git commit minus am uh, file uploaded. Uploaded and then git push to push it to the GitHub repo. Okay, 
now it's pushed successfully so we can just import it here so maybe i can go to the uh, for you you don't have to you don't have to do this uh, this kind of things because i already pulled it to the github repo now now the static file is already uploaded so maybe i can go to the geo cd geo uh, django and then git if i type git status it's fine so i can git pull to pull the code so for me my name is m texan and then password here okay now everything is pulled back to the uh, normal condition so maybe uh, okay now i can just uh, move my and then just i want to remove this geoapp directory geo app and then i can just uh, copy the geo django and then geo app to the current directory cp minus r to copy all the files and then if you type ls geo app is there so i have to again Feel, uh, manage my database password and my allowed host and then i have to edit ssp uh, dot models dot py file as well so let me uh, edit this and uh, come back to this point so okay now i updated the setting in model py file so after that i have to uh, migrate make migration so uh make migration uh, i have to go to the geo app directory and then i can type make migrations and then migrate it migrate it and then after that what i can do is uh, python manage.py collect static and then i can overwrite it uh, so uh, i don't know whether it's updated or not so let me try again so python manage.py run server and then i can type 0000, 0, 0, 0 and then 8000 okay let's try now okay well now our the geo django app is successfully installed in the server so it is uh, now currently hosted in the local host domain so maybe yeah i can set up the nginx and unicorn to uh, make it alive so it it is little bit confusing uh, in the middle of these processes so sorry for that but uh, the basic style is uh, like this so i just terminate this and then i can just uh, now uh, okay i'll see you in the next